And generally, my conclusion is it doesn't matter so much. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on. Oh, well, let me point out a connecting link in James chapter 1 and verse 14. You see, this desire for power, for control, and also for knowledge is a strong feature of every human being. And Satan exploits this desire to get power over us. This is what James says in his, his epistle, chapter 1, 14. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire or lust and enticed. So there is in you this desire for power, for control, for appreciation, for knowledge. It's, it's in all of us. It's born in us. But if Satan can begin to use that, he'll get us under his control. See, you couldn't count the number of people in this nation today who are involved in the occult. I'm sure it must be at least 75% of people in this nation today are involved in the occult. What is the motive that Satan uses? The desire for power, the desire for control, and the desire for knowledge. What was the desire that first got the human race into trouble? Have you ever stopped to think? What was Adam desiring in one word? Knowledge, knowledge that's right. And when he reached out for knowledge in an illegitimate way, he became a captive of Satan. Uncounted millions of people are lured into the occult by the desire for knowledge. Where did my son go when he died? What did they end up by doing? Going to